another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today we're going to be talking about the 179 tax deduction and I'm going to explain to you guys how the 179 deduction works and how you can qualify for it. So let's get the video started. So you have the option of either deducting the cost of certain items as an expense or depreciating them on your tax return each year. Now, if you're going to expense it, it has to qualify as an, as an expense. So that's where this 179 is going to come into play because these items that you're going to deduct for the Section 179 normally aren't going to qualify as a regular business expense. Um, but I'm going to explain to you how this works and how it is treated pretty much like uh, expensing the item. The 179 deduction allows you to fully depreciate certain items in that year. Like I said, it's similar to expensing the item. What I mean by this is if you buy a car for $5,000 in, in a certain year, you can write off that whole $5,000 that year, but you can't, say for example, buy the car in 2008, and then in 2012 decide you want to do the section of 179, you can't do it in future years. The property you depreciate for Section 179 has to be actively used in your business and can't be a building. This is what I touched on in the first slide. If you decide to use the 179 deduction on any item, you have to use it in the year, in the year you buy the item. It can't be in the following year after buying the item. That's very important to remember. You don't want to let it, if you buy that car and June, you don't want to forget about taking that deduction that year. Say January rolls around and you remember, oh, I bought that car. Well, it's too late to take the Section 179. You could still depreciate it in a normal way over a period of, say, five years, but this 179 is one year. You get the full deduction. There is a limit on how much you can deduct each year by using, using the Section 179 method. And your Section 179 deduction can't exceed your total taxable income in that year. Now, you can go to our website, harborfinancialonline.com. We have an online tax calculator estimator. What this can do is you put in your information. You can put in that Section 179 and see how it's going to affect your refund and how it's going to lower your taxes. The Section 179 deduction is not automatic you have to choose to receive this deduction, which is another great reason why I recommend doing your taxes online if you can. Again, through our site, harborfinancialonline.com, along with that calculator that I talked about, you can prepare your taxes online through our site. It's very easy. It will ask you the questions to see if you qualify for the 179. If you do take the 179 deduction, you have to use form 4562. And this form is, I consider it a complex form. Again, another great reason why to do your taxes online because it's easy to make mistakes with this form. For expensive items like vehicles, the 179 deduction is a great option. And if in that particular year, you made a good amount of money with your business and you wanna get into a lower tax bracket, a very quick way is by using the 179 deduction. Now I want to take you to our site real quick. Now this is harborfinancialonline.com. We have a bunch of articles on business here and it talks about it'll talk more about the 179 deduction and other other deductions that are out there for your business. So I recommend going to this site. It's, all free information through our site. It's a great source for you guys out there to lower your taxes and increase your refunds. So I highly recommend it. You can also go to YouTube. We have over 100 videos at YouTube that cover all areas of tax. We really get into the small business areas, the deduction areas, the credits, all of that. So very good to look at that. So I just want to scroll down and show you everything here. So that's our website. Again, really consider using the Section 179 if you've purchased vehicles this year for your business. 
Because say you bought a $40,000 truck for your business, you can write off that full $40,000 in, in that year, where maybe in the past you've depreciated it over a five-year period. With this, you can do it all in one year. So that's $40,000 you don't have to pay tax on. So great, great deduction. So let's finish up here. Um, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Again, I recommend using our online calculator. Quick, easy way to see where you're at on your taxes. I appreciate you watching our video. I hope you check out our website, harborfinancialonline.com. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.